Hey guys, it's uh, Saturday, April 23rd, and I'm on that uh, new permission. And I've been trying to locate this other house site off of the 1875 map, and I finally found, finally found where it was at, but found the well. It's full of water. But uh, on my way through here, I found a couple stones on the next hill back, but it could have been for a barn. But I think I'm onto the house site now. But uh, found the well first and working my way over through here. It's kind of thick, but it's grassy. But uh, found this pile of stones here. And those are all the foundation stones from the house. They're the square type, it's been hand cut. They're, they're everywhere. But I found another one in the ground here that was appears to have never been moved, but I got a signal right by the right by the edge of it. And I found one of these before, but not a complete one. It's a piece to an old scale. Uh, Wilcox warranted spring balance but I've never found a complete one so that's a good sign hopefully we're on the, the right spot here but I'll keep going here and see if I can find anything else I'll let you know okay guys just a quick field wrap up on this um, just it's too thick in here to swing but I did find some stuff got uh, seven shotgun shells part to an old stove another part to an old stove says number six on it and I found the part to the put to a scale then a piece to an, a hoe another big piece of copper or brass uh, two axe heads and plenty of square nails I mean it's it's probably going to be a good spot um, this this fall when the when the tall stuff goes down but and I did find the door lock mechanism so anyway I'll probably hold off and come back in here this fall oh I did find one one zincan imagine that some hunter lost his zincan so I think it's a 2000 Okay, I'm going to try to find another place to hunt uh, for tomorrow, so. All right, we'll come back to this place this fall. See you on the next hunt. Okay, guys, I'm on a, a new spot here. Uh, it's an old, old house, that little house. And I just come around this uh, old bush right here. Haven't been here about one full minute. Truck right there. Walked over, got a 944 signal. And about six inches down, that's got a large scent. It looks like a uh, maybe a 1850. It's actually pretty good shape. I can't really make the date out exactly. I'll clean it up a little bit more when I get it home. All right, I'll keep going here, see if I can find anything else. Okay, guys, I'm back with the next signal. It has a 1644. I got the world's smallest uh, claw hammer. <laughs> this thing is small. That's <laughs> cool. All right, I'll keep going here, see if I can find anything else. Okay, guys, next signal is a 1236 signal. Uh, it looks like some kind of a some kind of a buckle. Still works. Not sure what kind that is. If anybody knows, uh, please comment and let me know. All right, I'll keep going. Okay, guys, get another 1236 at about six inches. Yeah, I got another <clears throat> another little buckle. Not sure exactly what the kind that is. 
but pretty cool. I'll keep going, so if I find anything else, it's starting to get a little bit dark. Okay, guys, I'm back out here at this uh, new permission I got last night. It's uh, Sunday, April 24th. Um, I'm working this side yard down through here, and I just got a, a 1345 signal down about about six inches, and I got some kind of a looks like a military pin. And says play the game on the bottom of it it's got a cannon on it if anybody can help identifying that uh, please comment I'll do some research on it later but pretty cool all right I'm gonna keep working this area and see if I can pull anything else let you know okay guys uh, next signal here is a 1346 about six inches down I got a this is a badge to an old car uh, probably from the 30s or 40s uh, Plymouth Chrysler Corporation product made in USA that's a cool find all right I'll keep going here I'll let you know if I find anything else okay guys next signal is a uh, 1628 down about six six seven inches pretty cool find I don't know what it is it's dated 1937 I have no clue what this is but all around the edge of it is just letters and it doesn't really say anything it's just a bunch of letters all the way around that I have no clue it has uh, stars out on the corners by 1937 if anybody has any idea what this is, let me know. And it has a hole in the middle, nothing on the back. Huh. All right, I'll keep going here so I don't find anything else. Cool find. Okay, guys, I'm on to a new site now. Uh, that house right there is where I had a, found the large scent right beside that bush. And there's a piece of property here across the road. Uh, that's for sale so I called the local real estate lady and she told me to go ahead so I looked this place up on the 1875 map and shows there was an old schoolhouse here so some pretty big trees and stuff here but uh, first signal that I got was a dog tag it's a 1951 I've never seen one like that has a wire through it all right I'm working right around this big tree right now so I'll keep working in here and see if I can find anything else I'll let you know okay guys I'm still over here where this old schoolhouse site was and I was working up around that tree and I just work in this hillside here the top's been bulldozed and it's all in a pile on top I noticed but I'm working the areas that look like they have not been touched so on this natural slope, I was coming down through here and I, I got a 947, uh, about six inches deep. And I've got a silver half. I'm not sure what it is. We'll flip it over and see what it is. I think it's a walker. Let me pop that. Yeah, it looks like a walker. Let me, uh, let me, let me spray it. Actually, let me clean it up and I'll get right back with you. Okay, guys, I got it cleaned up a little bit. It's a 1917. It's worn, but it's not bad. And this is my first, first walker ever. I found the barbers, but never the walker so I'm really glad to have this I'm gonna keep working this this slope through here and see if I can pull anything else out of here I'll let you know if I can okay guys here's a wrap up from this weekend's hunt uh, I'll keep it short and sweet there's the trash and then <clears throat> yesterday I ended up getting another permission uh, toward evening but I had a few finds and I went back there today and then I got another permission for the property across the road. Um, 
a little bit of clad, just some pennies and I think there's a dime in there. And this thing gives a good signal. I thought it was play money, but something like a knockout. And I found a buckle. It actually broke, but it says solid brass on it. I'm not sure what that went to. And that's uh, for uh, automotive starter brushes. Another little buckle. Then I found that little teeny hammer. I'll have to look that up. I haven't researched it yet. It's little. A couple shotgun shell head stamps. 1981 dog tag chewed by lawnmower. Uh, I've got this really cool badge here. I haven't looked to see what it is yet, but it's got a cannon on it and it says play the game. I'm not sure how old it is, but it looks old. It was, it was, I think, like six or seven inches deep. But I believe that to be military related. And then this 1937 piece, I have no clue what this is. It has a little pattern on the bottom, and then stars, and a hole in the middle, and a bunch of letters that doesn't say anything but not sure if anybody knows please comment and let me know and found a 1951 weedy and then I did find the 1850 large scent a lot of detail on it then across the road at the other property I got permission today this is some of the junk just pieces of toy cars shotgun shell head stamp and some some clad little button aluminum and the 1951 dog tag never seen one like that or I've never found one like that still has some leather now my best find over there was uh, this 1917 Walker a little bit of tarnish glad to have that, it's my first uh, Walker ever found the Barbers but first Walker Alright everybody, thanks for watching, good luck out there, and happy hunting. See you on the next.